today's video, we are going to be um, finding the least common multiple of two numbers using prime factorization. So um, we've learned how to find the least common multiple using a list of multiples, but this is another strategy, especially when we're using larger numbers. So let's do an example of the prime factors of finding the least common multiple, sorry, of 16 and 20, okay? So I'm going to find the prime factorization of both of these numbers. So 16 would be 4 times 4. These are not prime. I need to keep going. 4 is 2 times 2. 4 is 2 times 2. And all of these are prime. Next, I'm going to find my prime factorization for 20. 4 times 5. 5 is a prime number. I need to break down the 4 to 2 times 2. Right? So the strategy for finding the least common multiple is I'm going to make a little chart of all of these factors of both 16 and of 20. So, and I'm going to keep each number um, separate from the other ones. So 16 has the factors of 2, 2, 2, and 2. 20 has 2, 2. So I'm going to write them right directly under the other ones. Now I'm going to make a section for my other numbers. And the only other number I have is a 5 for 20. When I look at these numbers, I'm going to pick the number, the row that has more. Okay, so 16 has more twos than 20 does. So I'm not going to use these at all, and I'm going to use all of these twos. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Over here, when I go to my 5, 5, 20 has more 5s because 16 doesn't have any. So we're going to use the 5 right there. We're going to add that on. So when I multiply this out, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, well, let's see, let's, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so that equals 80. My least common multiple of 16 and 20 is 80. Let's try another example. This time, let's try 24. And 90. Again, these are larger numbers that I would not want to make a list of counting by 24s and counting by 90. So we're going to find the prime factorization of each. So prime factorization of 24, I'm going to use 3 and 8. 3 is prime. I need to keep breaking down my 8. 4 times 2. 2 is prime. 2 times 2 is 4. There's all my prime factors for 24. For 90, let's do 9 times 10. Neither of these are prime. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10. All of these numbers are prime. I'm going to circle all of those. And now I'm going to make my little chart. So I'm going to have 24 and 90. And again, I'm going to list out their factors. Um, and I'm going to keep each number of factors together. So for 24, I'm going to start with twos. I have three twos. When I look over at 90, I have one two. I'm going to list that there underneath. Now I'm going to go to my next number, which is a three. 24 has one three. 90 has two threes. And then my last number is a five. 90 has a five. And we do not have anything else over here for 24 to use. And we've used all our numbers. So now I'm going to look at each section of my chart, and I'm going to use the numbers that have more listed. So here, 24 has three twos, and 90 has one two. I'm going to use these three twos. I'm going to use the two threes from 90, because there's more threes on, on this row than there are on this row. And then I'm going to use my five. So when I multiply all of these together, I will have my uh, least common multiple for, um, for um, 24 and for 90. So when I multiply these all out, I get E times 9 times 5, which act, ends up being 360. So my least common multiple of 24 and 90 is 360. And I'm really glad I didn't have to write all that out in a list. 